This is a quick fix tutorial where I'm focusing only on difficult sections in the piece, applying only those principles that don't require sound imagination skills and will quickly ease your playing, making technique more comfortable and fluent. These basic principles are wrist movement, elbow movement, intonation, arm weight, articulations, phrasing and time. If you've been playing this piece for quite a while, keep in mind that all these principles won't work at full potential, as all sensations might interfere with new ones. Yet they will ease your playing as much as possible in your current situation. This is just a basic fix to let you feel more comfortable while playing, and since we're not imagining sounds, we're not making any harmonies, dynamics or voice and nuances in this tutorial. And feel free to leave your request in the comments section below. So now let's get started. Match the wrist movement with the known direction. Move gently without any tension. At the last stage of practicing, this movement will be remained in muscle sensations only and won't be visible to the eyes. This will keep your wrist tension free. And a missing fingering in the score before starting playing. While the wrist movement is matching the known direction, the elbow is moving towards the new position on a circle note. This will release tension in hands and improve speed and accuracy in leaps. And let's move on to our next etude. And again, we're gonna start with just wrist and elbow movement, with simple, soft sound, gently touching our keys. Let's go. yourself that you can play notes in time so you can stop slow down in the notes on the spots where you need to move your elbow to feel its movement more comfortable for yourself now honestly when I play this idiot when I remember I played this idiot I don't know I was maybe 10 maybe 11 but that was my very first idiot that I played by Chopin and I still recall the feeling in my hand, <clears throat> in my mind, that it's really very stiff when I play it. It was very stiff in my hand. So now when I play it with movements, I feel so much better. And again, guys, these movements will become so invisible and they, um, well, you will see in like 10 minutes. Um, when we're playing faster so this movement is real life saving here and elbow and wrist all these little turns release your tension it will help to release your tension hands right away
sing in between notes with a glissando and resistance. Keep the same sensation while singing out loud only notes. While playing, keep singing the same way internally. It is possible to sing the same way while playing fast passages. Internally sing with the energy of weight. This is how it sounds without weight versus with weight. Such singing will sustain transferring of weight while playing, bringing more freedom and power to your voice and hands. Now let's play with intonation and weight. Phrasing is a structured intonation, breathing, where smaller blocks with more prominent sections are united into larger blocks with more prominent sections. Use intonation and weight in phrasing to make energetic crescendo towards more prominent sections and blocks. While practicing phrasing, take a little break, a breath after every block, and slow down towards the main interval in a motif, the main motif in a phrase, and the main phrase in a sentence. Let's start with motives. And again, phrasing benefits our technique because when we start a new blog, uh, whether it's motive or phrase or sentence, this zero energy in the beginning of a new blog will help to release tension and hands while playing. So our hands, our hands will always breathe, breathe in and breathe out. comfortable in this turn. I think it's towards my first finger, basically this part. So I'm going to intonate with musical speech to ensure that I feel stable playing even faster. 
Ability to feel a difference in singing different intervals will let us pre-feel through intonation the distance of every interval much more accurately. That helps mind and hands to faster prepare to the intervals. As I have said before many times, if we can't feel fast while playing, we're not ready to play fast. Feel the difference in sound while singing with intonation these intervals. This ascending third. I need to pay more attention in, while intonating. Okay. Now let's go to phrases. Time and tempo mean more than just the speed of music. It's a part of the character of music. After choosing the pulsation, connect time to the musical image of the piece. And if the image of music is joyful, feel and describe the pulse not as just slow, but calm and peaceful. Not just faster, but lively and exciting. Not just fast, but energetic and bright. Feel time while playing always following a phrasing line to sustain the flow of playing. And now let's start with slow tempo. We are going to move and stay here by half of the bar. So let's start with slow tempo. And give it an emotional meaning and feel it as not just slow, but very relaxed. Okay, I'm definitely 
because you can play faster. So let's go more active. Thank you. 